Welcome to Los Altos History. I'm Nancy Schnabel, and tonight we're going to do something different. Recently, Mountain View celebrated its 85th anniversary on November 7th. Our producer, Wolf Schrader, was there with a handheld TV camera. But before we go and celebrate with them, I want to share something that brought back a fond memory. You're going to see that the Castro Street Movie Theater started out as a silent movie theater. Well, when my dad was working his way through medical school back in the East, he played the piano in a silent movie theater. And one day he went out, took a break with some friends, and they over-celebrated. And when dad came back, he thought it might be funny. Remember, he'd seen this movie 60 times. He thought it might be funny to play the horses are coming music during the love scene and the during the, horses are, or during the love scene, he played the horses are coming music. Well, needless to say, the, the manager of the theater did not think it was funny, and Daddy got fired. So now, whenever anyone in our family hears about silent movies, we sort of break up. You know, in California, any town that celebrates its 85th anniversary is very old. So let's go to Mountain View and join them in celebrating their 85th anniversary.
little Nick B, Nick B building. And the, the, there's more of us students, volunteer students around in all these other areas that'll tell you about the information, the historical information about the building that we're at. before you cross rather than left and right. Are you having a good time at the party? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Did you see the big bridge you see? Yeah. Take it out. When the earthquake of 1906 demolished the whole thing and flattened it to the ground, so they had to start over again. Um, the top photo is the original building, and the bottom is after the earthquake. Um, it originally housed a post office and a general store and a stationery store, and the hotel. The hotel has been here ever since the building has, and the post office was here until 1928. Through the years, different businesses have come and gone through the building, and the Oriental Restaurant, which is here now, is spotted the first Oriental restaurant in Lancaster Street. It's, it's lost its original, you know, look and decor of the building. Um, as some of the other buildings have remained pretty much the same, but this is the original spot and um, some of the parts of the building I'm sure are still original. No, you. Go ahead. Okay. This is the this is the Wilhammer building, which was uh, built in the 1870s, and it's the only one that survived the earthquake. And uh, that's the first site. The next site is the Rogers building, which is the hotel right here, and it's a, a turn of the century building. It's always been a hotel. The third one down here is the Jurian building, which is a 1913 building, and it had uh, uh, meeting halls upstairs for the various lodge groups could hold dances, things like that. During World War II, they used to have uh, uh, they used to have servicemen's dances up there and things like that. And uh, there was drug stores mostly at the bottom, down below. This building here, which is the Oddfellows, right, 
now was a, an early bank in 1906 or 1913 when it was put up. It was First National Bank, and it had four big columns up there in front of it. And then uh, the, the old theater here is a 1927 vintage. Uh, it got a facelift in the 1960s with the current frontage on it. And uh, it started out in the silent movie days, so it had a theater organ in it, with sound effects and pipe organ and so on. And then finally down here to the, the uh, Scarpa building, which is a meat market put up in about 1908. Right. And across the street, this building went up in the 20s, and then we put it in there because it was our, our shopping center. Mm -hmm. uh, the, coin, the word wasn't coined then, you know, but it was, right. the, it's, uh, it was a huge block of buildings, and it's always had a drugstore on the corner. Uh, next to it is the Swall building, which was originally City Hall upstairs right. before the other city halls were built. And then the old sandstone bank building, mm -hmm. uh, where it started out with the Farmers and Merchants Bank, and then went to Bank of Italy, Bank of America, and then First National moved across the street into it. And then finally in the 50s, it turned back into a meat market again. And then the, this uh, is the Mockby building on the corner where uh, uh, the stuffed pizza is now, right. and uh, the Mockaby building had a Mountain View hardware in it for years and years and years. Uh, it's the longest business in town, and it's an elegant old building, just the same as it was. It's been painted up and all. And finally, the Ames building, which is right here, and uh, it's uh, where Mountain View Lock and Key. It had a newspaper office in it. It's always had apartments upstairs. In fact, old Professor Ames had one of the apartments up there. He was a handwriting expert that was. Uh, uh, he, he was called to court cases all over the world for uh, forgery cases and things like that. Mm -hmm. So he's a famous citizen there. Great. But that's essentially it. We picked 11 of the, the old hardy buildings that uh, are still standing. Okay. Some of them, like I say, have new faces and others have been just upgraded over the years. So okay. enjoy. Great. Great. Great.
This band is great more than more than you know. you enjoyed celebrating with Mountain View. I know I did. And we're going to have another program on Mountain View soon. For example, have you ever wondered who the Castro family were? Do you know about the Chinese grocer that always gave specially good prices to the widows? We want to share some of these things with you. Thank you for tuning in tonight. I'm Nancy Schnabel, and you've been watching Los Altos History. Mm -hmm.